Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel TLC Stir News please watch the video and subscribe the channel. In the wake of Janelle Brown and Cody Brown's separation announcement, viewers of Sister Wives have been eagerly following the developments in their tumultuous marriage. The couple exchanged vows in 1993, marking Janelle's entry as Cody's second wife into their plural marriage. However, their union hit a significant turning point when news of their separation surfaced during a special episode of Sister Wives in December 2022. The revelation didn't come as a complete surprise to fans, given the turbulent history between Cody and Janelle, including instances where Cody made hurtful remarks towards her. Here, we are delving into a few of these incidents to shed light on the complexity of their relationship. 1. Cody accused Janelle of being lazy. Amidst the COVID-19 pandemic, Cody and Robin Brown adopted a more cautious approach compared to the rest of the plural family, causing significant tension with Janelle's children. This conflict resulted in considerable division within the family, placing Janelle in a difficult position where she had to decide between supporting Cody or siding with her children. Ultimately, she opted to stand by her kids. However, Cody showed little sympathy towards his wife's decision. According to the Hollywood gossip, he said that she doesn't want to hear the facts. She doesn't want to hear it. Frankly, I think Janelle is lazy about an ounce of prevention. 2. Cody said, Janelle is full of s asterisk asterisk t. Amid the COVID-19 quarantine, Janelle and Christine Brown grew increasingly worried about the limited family interactions their children were experiencing. Recognizing the importance of familial bonds, they took the initiative to facilitate gatherings, ensuring their kids could connect. To combat the isolation brought on by the pandemic, they made holiday plans. However, their proactive approach didn't sit well with Cody, who became enraged by their efforts. Cody expressed his frustration, openly questioning Janelle's sincerity and accusing her of being full of s asterisk asterisk t, as reported by Screen Rant. Despite Janelle's repeated assurances to Cody about her intentions to bridge the gap between him and his sons, he remained skeptical and distrusting of her efforts. 3. You don't listen. The ongoing power struggle between Cody and Janelle finally reached a point, filled with accusations of feeling unheard and unseen, intensifying the already strained dynamics between them. The communication breakdown sheds light on the deeper-rooted issues that had been within their marriage. While Cody typically wears his emotions on his sleeve, Janelle has been known as the steady and composed member of the family. However, the tension in their conversation was so palpable that even Janelle found herself losing her composure. Ultimately, the exchange resulted in Cody accusing Janelle of not listening to him before storming out. 4. I don't have sons. They're all dead to me, Cody said. In this particular scene, Cody jokes about his son's lack of assistance, but in hindsight, this remark takes on a more somber tone. Recent reports from Showbiz Cheat Sheet reveal that Cody has been estranged from several of his sons, notably Gabriel and Garrison, for the past few years. Throughout Sister Wives Season 18, Cody was visibly upset about his COVID-19 protocols not being adhered to by Janelle's sons. Following a particularly heated argument during the pandemic, Cody reached his breaking point. He said, I don't have sons. They're all dead to me. The rift with his sons might have started during the pandemic, but it had been brewing for years. 5. Cody charged Janelle with a lying and a cheating. Cody and Janelle find themselves at odds regarding their approach to parenting their children. As tensions escalated during a heated discussion about their relationship and holiday arrangements, a conversation about Christmas plans between the conflicted spouses turned volatile, according to reports from People. When Janelle revealed to Cody that she and her children would be celebrating the holidays with Christine and her children, Cody became agitated. While Janelle and Christine had maintained a close bond, Cody expected Janelle to remain loyal to him, especially after Christine's departure. Accusing Janelle of lying and depriving him of precious family time, Cody got frustrated. 6. Cody alleges that Janelle undermines his authority. In discussing his strained relationship with his sons, Cody hinted at Janelle's role in diminishing his capacity to effectively lead within the family dynamic. I could be a great leader in the family and I should be, despite their undermining, but I don't have the exposure to the children that the mothers have in this family. So having the mothers support me would be the thing to do, he said, as reported by Today. 
Ultimately, Cody's resentment came from his self-centered frustration with Janelle prioritizing her children's well-being over his desires. 7. Cody believes Janelle is too independent. In the dynamic of Cody's plural marriage, where he juggles relationships with multiple wives and a total of 18 children, each wife often found herself spending significant periods alone. During one memorable episode of season 17, Cody hinted at his perception that Janelle had grown overly self-sufficient. He said, I don't really see it as much that she's independent as that she's aloof. She kind of does her thing, I kind of do mine. On the other hand, Janelle emphasized the importance of her independence. Over time, Cody harbored feelings of bitterness towards Janelle for her tendency to make independent choices without seeking his input. 8. Cody's Thoughts on PMS One of the most inappropriate remarks Cody made during Sister Wives involved his wives' menstrual cycles. During a particularly heated argument with one of his wives, he attributed the conflict to her experiencing PMS, sidestepping the actual issues at hand and reducing them to outdated stereotypes about women's periods. In a shocking conversation with another polygamist husband, Cody went as far as describing his wives as demonic during their menstrual cycles, claiming to feel abused by their monthly cycles. Janelle, in particular, was never comfortable with Cody's insensitive comments regarding her menstrual cycle.